My name is Miss Lauren and I'm one of the children's librarians from the Half Hollow Hills Community Library and I'm so glad you're joining me today for Apple Academy. So this is going to be a really fun program today. I have a story to share with you. We're going to learn a little bit about apples and I have an activity that you can do at home with a grown-up. So before we begin, we have a song that we like to sing in the library and you may know this song. This is called our hello song and it goes like this. We start by waving our hands hello. Can everybody wave? Terrific. Okay. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Okay, can we try that again? Let's start with our waving. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Excellent. All right, great. So we have a story that we're going to read today about apples and making apples into apple cider. Does anyone here like to eat apples? Raise your hand. I know I do. And I love all things apples. I love to eat apples just to bite into an apple. I like to eat apple sauce. I like to drink apple cider. Sometimes we can bake delicious treats with apples. You can make apple pie um, or an apple turnover. There are so many wonderful ways that you can eat an apple. So we're gonna learn a little bit about that today in our story. Then we're going to explore an apple and really take a good look inside. There are so many things we can learn from uh, exploring with apples. So I hope that you enjoyed this program. So let's get started with our story. This is called From Apple Trees to Cider, Please. And this is by Felicia Sinzari Chinjetsky and pictures by Julia Patton. And this is gonna be a great story. So I hope you enjoy it. From Apple Trees to Cider, Please by Felicia Sinzari Cherensky Pictures by Julia Patton. Hello, apples in the trees growing just for mom and me. Reaching up, we take our pick, twist and pluck them. That's the trick. Wow, our wagon's apple full. Mom, let's roll. I'll help you pull. Past dappled leaves and through the loud and happy apple picking crowd. Scarecrows, mums, and bales of hay help to lead us on our way. Here's the mill. Now let me guess. That's an apple cider press. Clean the apples, check for worms. Wash and dry them, no more germs. Every apple does its part, whether it's juicy, sweet, or tart. Red, green, yellow, drop them in, turn the crank, the shredder spins. Wind the metal wheel to crush in the bucket apple mush. Twist and press to squish and mash. See the cider splish and splash. Turn the tap to fill the jug. Hear the cider glug, glug, glug. Mom, I'm thirsty. Can we stay? There is a festival today. Come and get it. Gather near. Gobble up some apple cheer. Cobblers, fritters, pie, the rest. I like cider donuts best. Gulp it cold or sip it hot. Apple cider 
hits the spot. Apple smiles. So glad we stayed. Now we know how cider's made. The end. I love that story. I hope you enjoyed it too. It's so interesting to learn about picking apples and making them into apple cider. So in the story, if you noticed, there were different trees that had different names of apples. Some said Honey Crisp or Granny Smith or Golden Delicious and Fuji. Those are different types of apples. And sometimes we notice that apples look a little different. Some are bigger and some are smaller. What about the colors? Now I've seen red apples, but there are also green apples. And sometimes there's apples that are more yellow. So neat to see all the different types of apples there are. Maybe the next time you go to the market, you can take a look and see what apples you can find. Maybe you can talk about the colors with your grown up. And pretty soon, uh, we'll see apples growing on the trees. There'll be uh, lots of apples to pick. So if you are, if you have a, a chance to go to an apple orchard, that would be terrific. You can see the apples growing on the trees. That is so neat. And I love to do that in the fall. So now it's time to take a look at our apple and see what's inside. Okay, so here I have my apple. Now what color is my apple? What do you think? I have here a green apple. And green is actually my favorite kind of apple. I like the way green apples taste, but everyone may like something different. You may like um, a different type of, the way a different type of apple tastes, but I like the green ones the best. So here is my apple, and at the top, I have what's called the stem. That's this piece that's sticking out right here. This is the stem. And sometimes when you buy them from the market, there might be a leaf coming out of them. That's because uh, when you pull them off the trees, sometimes the leaves are still attached. So they'll be attached to the stem, this part right here. Okay, on the outside, the green part, this is called the skin, the skin of an apple. So that's, uh, that can be different colors. And like I said, this one is green. Okay, so there's a lot going on inside the apple. So with a grown-up, we can cut this apple open and see what we can find inside. So I have a knife, it's very sharp, and again, you're gonna do this with a grown-up. You're not gonna do this by yourself, and you're gonna be very careful because knives are sharp. And we're going to cut our apple open and see what's inside. Okay, let's take a look. All right, so I cut my apple in half, and wow, that looks really neat. Look at that. Okay, so inside an apple are seeds. So I can see a seed poking out right here. That's pretty cool, and that's called, that's the core of the apple, the inside, the apple's core, that piece right in the middle. And then around it, this light color, this is called the apple's flesh. That's what we like to eat, and that's what tastes really yummy, is the apple's flesh. All right. So here it is, the inside of our apple. That looks so cool. So now I see one seed. I wonder if there's more seeds in there. So let me slice my apple again, and I'm going to take a look. Sometimes those seeds are hiding. Let's see if there's more inside. Oh, wow. Take a look at that. I see some more seeds hiding. All right, let's see if we can take them out. I'm gonna tap, tap the apple on my plate. Sometimes we may have to poke them out with our fingers, but wow, all right. Sometimes they're hiding on in there and you can't quite see them until you open it up completely because I think I see some more. So I'm going to slice my apple again and see if I can find some more seeds in there. 
Oh, I think I see another one. Let me slice it again. Let me take a look. Oh, I found another seed. There it is. Right inside there. Let's pop it out. All right. I think those are all the seeds I see in my apple. Let's take a look. I think that's all of them. Okay. So now we'll practice our counting with our seeds. So I see one, two, three, four seeds. I see four seeds inside my apple. Can you see those? Can you count with me? One, two, three, four. Now, if you do this activity at home and you cut in your, into your apple, you may find more seeds, which is pretty neat. You may find less seeds, so you may find only maybe two or three seeds, or you may find five or six or even more seeds. That is so cool. It's like a surprise when you open it up. Okay, so we have four seeds. If you signed up for our program, you, you received an activity sheet and on your activity sheet is an apple. And so for our project, what we're going to do is take our seeds and use a glue stick and we're gonna glue them on. So everyone's is going to look a little different because it depends how many seeds you have inside your apple. If you wanna try this and slice more than one apple, I bet you'll find a lot more seeds but this is just a fun activity to explore, to count, and to talk about size, shape, colors. There is so much to talk about apples. And when you're done, you can even make something really neat out of your apples. If you want to make apple cider, apple sauce, or a nice apple pie, that would be terrific. Well, friends, I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned a little bit about an apple, and I hope you enjoy some delicious apples or maybe make something wonderful out of your apples. And if you'd like to share some photos of you and your apples or some apple treats, please send them to childrens at hhhlibrary.org, and we would love to see all of your apple goodness. All right. Thanks for joining me and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.